Welcome to ClickMyProject.com. Let's now I am going to explain about the multi class brain tumor classification using GSVM. Effective is to develop a radio resistant multi class classification of brain tumors. Here, the brain machine learning system is based on the genetic algorithm and support data machine. Here, we use four each extraction methods and the support data machine is used for brain tumor classification. Genetic algorithm method is used for the feature selection process. Here, by shape feature extraction, gather feature extraction, and two more methods are used for the extraction. Uh, from this, we have to extract the features. First, select the input image from the collected data set. The next step is the pre-processing step. Uh, in pre-processing step, method median filter is used to remove the noise from the input images it's often desirable to be able to perform some kind of noise reduction on the image signal uh, median filter is a non-linear digital filtering technique often used to remove noise such noise reduction is a typical pre-processing step to improve the accuracy results of the later pre-processing median filtering is very widely used in digital image processing here we next step is the segmentation process. Here we actually extract the affected area from the image, the part of it which contains just the post code. The goal of segmentation is to simplify and or change the representation of an image into something that is more meaningful and easy to analyze. Next one is the feature extraction method. For feature extraction here uh, we used uh, two methods GLCM and H2G. First we are going to discuss about the GLCM. GLCM is nothing but the gray level co-occurrence matrix. It contains information about the positions of pixels having similar gray level values. The co-occurrence matrix is a two dimensional array appears in which both the rows and the columns represent a set of possible image values. GLCM is defined by the first specifying a displacement vector and counting all pairs of pixels separated by the having gray levels i and j. GLCM is defined by number of co-occurrences of the pixel. The co-occurrence matrix has the dimensions where n is the number of gray levels in the image. From the co-occurrence matrix is obtained we have to extract the 12 different uh, statistical feature. Then the next feature extraction method is H2G that is histogram of gradient. H2G captures edge or gradient structures that are characteristics of local shape. Histogram of oriented gradients and image descriptor based on the image's gradient orientations. We exactly only the mathematical value from H4G. H4G descriptor is based on dominant edge orientations. Image will be divided into cells. Then the next one is the classification process. In classification also we are going to uh, use the two methods that is SVM and ANFIS, neuro -ANFIS method. Uh, in, uh, in this uh, we classify the image whether it is frontal or not. Whether it is Affected image or non affected image by using SVM support vector machine classifier. It also support vector networks or supervised learning models with associated learning algorithms that analyze data and recognize patterns used for classification and regression analysis. And then, second one is the um, Neuro FSA and FSA, that is artificial neural network system. Uh, this is also the supervised learning models. 
next we are going to discuss about the implementation work of this person so uh, here uh, for this process matlab 7.9 version is used then these, uh, these are the files used for this process modify is the main function file and others are the sub functions files choose modify main dot m and click the run file option then choose a data set any image from the data set so first uh, we extract the features then the results are obtained first figure uh, denotes the normal image and the second figure denotes the pre-processed image that is noise is removed and the filter is applied uh, then the fourth of five of the six the tumor part that is tum uh, affected area tumor is segmented and displayed in this result uh, then the feature values because we uh, used four types of feature extraction method all the feature values are uh, displayed in the command window and uh, then the gather feature extraction method is displayed in the figure 7 then the figure 1 uh, this figure represents the GA GA genetic algorithm is used for the feature selection process because we use four types of feature extraction from that we uh, selected the set particular feature values by using GA next only the GA result only go to the uh, classification process here we apply the um, SPM classification and uh, it's uh, denoted as normal or abnormal classifier here uh, now I am giving uh, the 16th data set so uh, from that we get that is a normal image from this I conclude that we determine whether the input given image is normal or not normal. Thank you.